Hey, what's Mike? It's a bit rainy today, but we're heading back in Chicago to find one of my favorite TV shows locations in the 1990s. So follow me as we hunt down McGinty's from early edition. So I made it to my destination and behind me there is a firehouse that was used in early edition that aired on CBS in 1996 to 2000. It was the home and bar that Gary Hobson owned and it was known as McGinty's. So there it is, McGinty's Pub and Bar, which was owned by Gary Hobson in early edition. And it looks like it's available, so let's go check it out, see if we can see anything in the windows. So as you can see here, the firehouse is actually a historical landmark now. So that is pretty cool. So it cannot be torn down, even though new buildings were built around it. I don't think that Gary would recognize his own neighborhood today with these new modern buildings that have popped up over the last few years. So this would be the entrance here where they would come in to the bar on the show. And it looks like it's available too, so that's pretty cool. So maybe somebody can open it up and turn it to a real McGinty's. I don't know anything about running a restaurant. What do you mean we? I can run this place. I know exactly what I'm doing. We will be partners. Now as you see, that's the interior of the place. Uh, looks like they're working on it right now. And as you know, the interiors were not used here for the show. It was actually used on a soundstage here in the city. Here's another angle for you. The stairs going upstairs. It looks like they are working on it though. That is pretty cool. So maybe somebody uh, bought it or is renting it out. Who knows? But I guess we'll have to find out. It does look like it has a nice little courtyard too. So if somebody was to open up as a McGinty's, for example, they could have tables out here. Hey! What's more important than this? This! So I'm heading back to my train and I realize you know, Gary really had it made, you know, because he get the newspaper the day early and then would basically hop on a train, the brown line most likely, because it's right next to his apartment in a sense, in his business, and he was able to go out and, you know, save his lives and do what he had to do in order to make a difference. So I want to thank you for watching as I explored McDickie's Pub from Early Edition. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later on down the road.